Welcome to the Office 2013 video tutorial 3 new skills in 3 minutes. These skills will focus on some of the great new features of Excel 2013. Let's move on to the first skill. Flash filling your data set. Take a look at this list of email addresses. I would like to separate the first name and the surname to facilitate sorting. Look how easy this is. I click into the first name column and begin to type the first person's name. I then start typing the second person's name and Excel instantly recognizes what I'm trying to achieve and flash fills the rest of the column. Let's try this once again with the surname. Start typing the first person's surname, repeat in the second row and instantly Excel recognizes and flash fills the rest of the column again. Separating data couldn't be easier. Let's look at our second skill. I'm going to convert this list to a table and then use a slicer to facilitate filtering. My cursor stays within the data set. I use the insert ribbon and the table tool. Instantly the table receives an auto format. On the design ribbon of the table tools contextual tab, select insert slicer. I am able to create a slicer out of any of the column headings within the data set. In this case I will choose employee name. Once the slicer appears on the spreadsheet you are able to move it around and manipulate the number of columns. By selecting an employee name you are now able to filter the data set. Use control if you wish to select more than one employee at a time. Our third new skill is a great new tool for creating a timeline within your pivot table. This pivot table has been created based on the data set you saw on the previous sheet. We're looking at the number of orders and total revenue generated by each salesperson, but I'm quite interested in looking at this in relation to the order date. On the Analyze ribbon, I'm going to select Insert Timeline. The Timeline tool recognizes any date fields you have in your data set. In this case I just have one, the order date. Look at this timeline that appears. At the moment it's grouped by month. By selecting the drop down on the right hand side I can choose how my grouping for my timeline appears. I can then filter my data set by years. Alternatively I can go back to the timeline and change the grouping to quarters. And view either one quarter at a time or a range. Time's up. Thanks for listening. If you need any further advice or training, please visit the website.